All right, I was messaged on Instagram by a woman who wanted to know um, how I choose between rings and strings. She was having a conversation with friends and, you know, they were kind of debating it and they didn't feel like they knew enough about either one to really make a decision. Um, so she asked me and of course I sent her uh, a laughing emoji because the answer obviously for me is I don't choose between them. I go back and forth between the two or I use a combination of the two. But she asked if I could possibly make a video um, talking about if somebody wanted to make a decision, how they could come to a conclusion of which one they would want. So I said, sure. Uh, I didn't have time to kind of sit down and write this because I'm going out of town um, for the weekend. So I thought I would sit down and quickly just give her some idea and maybe this would help other people because I know a lot of people are trying to decide on their 2020 planning. Okay, so I don't know a ton about rings, but I can tell you coming from strings, um, some of the things that I think are perks and some things that I'm just, you know, kind of disappointed in. So let's get started, shall we? First of all, rings and strings can be about the same price. It just really depends on where you're getting um, your leather from and where you're purchasing from. So this is a Filofax um, Finsbury in a personal size, just in a black. This is a Sojourner B6 Slim. And I'm showing you these two first um, because I feel like they are about the same size. So if you were to uh, de-ring this, here is a B6 Slim insert. It's about that size, which I think is very nice. Um, so if ever, you know, I decided to take out the rings, I could certainly turn this into a cover for my B6 Slim um, notebooks, the ones that I have. This one here. I can say that when you put this in here, um, because of the rings, it really pushes it out. So I don't think it would close as properly if you tried to put it in here with rings, but you know, you do you. So the first negative for at least the company Filofax is that you cannot remove and replace the rings. Um, if you remove them, they're just, you know, removed and you might rip a hole. I mean, there's plenty of videos that show you how to take them out with the least amount of damage to uh, the material, but it's, you know, that's just the thing. Also, the rings in the Filofax, the one that I have, the Finsbury, and in the Croc, are 23 millimeters. And you can see that I'm pretty much at capacity. So the amount that you can actually fit in here is limited. And that is also true of the Traveler's Notebook. This is a Sojourner. Sojourner uh, Rowena is her name. She tends to cut her notebooks about the same width as the uh, Traveler's Company, formerly known as Midori Notebooks. And so they're not, they're meant to fit exactly they're not meant to overstuff, but you can get a Foxy Fix or Chic Sparrow that's going to be cut wider. Um, you can even ask sometimes certain companies to widen the leather, and you can also do that with Rowena. Like, I know she has a B6 Slim um, wide. You just make that in the notes, and then you can kind of stuff that as well. So there are customizations, which is a perk to getting traveler's notebooks, whereas when you're buying from a big company like Filofax, you cannot customize this at all other than the stuff that you actually put in it. A positive to having rings is that a lot of times you can pick a layout that already has pockets in here. This one comes with six pockets, um, card slots rather, and then a large pocket here. It also comes with a zipper in the back so you can put things in this pocket as well. Whereas a lot of the traveler's notebooks, it's going to cost you extra to add um, pockets. And usually it's like a secretarial pocket with Foxy Fix and Chic Sparrow. Sometimes you can get like a card pocket or two, um, but it's limited. So if you wanted to make this your wallet, you would have to buy other accessories or again, add in those features, which is going to drive the price up. What I like about companies like Sojourner is you can get a pocket on the outside, which again, this is not customizable. Um, you basically buy it, it's like manufactured, and so it's going to be almost exactly the same every time, which is a negative when it comes to traveler's notebooks. If you've been in the traveler's notebook world, you know that sometimes you're going to get more pebbly leather or more veiny leather, 
than maybe somebody you've seen on you know youtube like you've seen a video and you're like that's the exact one i want you can absolutely pretty much get that when you get like a file effect sometimes they will show you like with a croc leather that it there's variations like you get more of a, a bigger pebbly or smaller pebbly depending but with like the file effects finsbury and the other ones that are like more faux leather um you're going to get pretty much exactly identical to what everyone else gets Whereas this, it's kind of iffy. And if you're not someone who likes um, veiny leather or pebbling, or you want exactly the shade that somebody else got like in the special brown pocket here, um, I've seen these special brown pockets in different shades to very, very dark to a little bit lighter. So, you know, that's just like something that you have to deal with when you're dealing with traveler's notebooks. They're not manufactured in a way that you're going to get an identical product every single time. What draw me to strings, is that you can completely customize what you put in here. Um, you can have weekly, monthly, daily inserts, and that was sort of amazing. Now that's also true of a traveler's notebook, but when you are getting a traveler's notebook and you have what we call inserts, they're just basically little booklets, um, you can get these already pre-printed or you can print your own, you can make your own on the computer, and you can get them that have, you know, just the months, just the weeks, just the days or you can get one that has a combination in one insert and then you can get a different layout like you can have grid or lined or even blank which i don't have near me and that's great you can even get like dot grid that is true of the rings but the best part about this is a lot of times you have to buy an entire insert or carry an entire insert of you know pages whereas i only have a few dailies in here i have three and i can take them out whenever i want and the great thing about this is if i decide that i want to move this to my weekly I can put it in the weekly because it's important and I need to see my week and my day in the same place. Now I can draw out or find an insert that has my week and the day in the same place, but um, that doesn't always work out. Whereas this one, I can move anything wherever I want to move it. If I decided that like I wanted to make a list on my daily here and it turned out to be more goals than it was like stuff I was going to be able to complete that day, I can go ahead and take it out and put it in my goals tab. And that is really, for me, the beauty. I can carry as little or as much as I want. I can carry one day or, you know, 15 days if I'm going on vacation for 15 days and that's what I want to put in here. It really works that way and I think it's sort of amazing. Now, the really cool thing about a traveler's notebook is unlike a notebook like this that has all these pages, like let's say that you went ahead and you tabbed off sections, right? And you had four sections in here. One section usually fills up before the other three, and that drives me crazy because there's nothing you can really do about that. In here, you can put four inserts and have four individual sections. And then when one section fills up, like say this one, you can take it out and replace it with a new one. And that's pretty awesome too. So you can customize these, you can rearrange them. Like say these are your dailies and you started with your month. You can move them around on the string and put your daily in front because maybe that's what you want to see first. Um, sometimes I like to have a journal in here and I tend to put my journal in the center so that um, it's the most flat book in my traveler's notebook uh, because I write in it the most. Whereas I can put like, let's say this is my monthly and I only fill that out once a month and I just refer to it. I tend to put that in the front so that even though it's gonna be kind of at this like hump, it doesn't matter to me because I don't really write on it. But if you're someone who doesn't care for the hump, you can always take it off the strings, write on it, decorate it on its own and then put it back in your traveler's notebook. When it comes to cost, as far as uh, what you put in your traveler's notebook or what you put in your um, ring bound planner, these are free inserts by Peanuts Planner Co. I don't know if it's exactly this one, but she has a lot. Um, you can find a lot of people who just want you to come and visit their blog. And so they'll give you free inserts um, as an incentive to come and visit or sign up for their blog. So you can find a lot of freebies online. The trouble I have with inserts is um, unless you're willing to pay the money to buy them already uh, pre-made and sent to you, or you're willing to print them out and cut them and figure all of that out, 
it can be kind of tedious and I, I'm not always willing to do that. Whereas a traveler's notebook, you can just buy, like I buy a three pack. I buy these from Amazon. These ones are the lined and these ones are the blank. I also have the grid. I buy them in a three pack. They're ready to go. I just put them in there. I didn't have to print out. I didn't have to cut down the cardstock or the paper. And I certainly didn't have to staple them. They're already ready to go. So you also have the convenience of ordering things already ready for both of these, or you have the convenience of, you know, if you just have paper lying around or you have your printer of making inserts for both of these. When it comes to size, um, I feel like the most sizes I've ever seen in like a ring bound planner are pocket A6, personal, which this one is, and A5. Sometimes you can find like a higher size you know, more like a like a binder, like a school binder size, uh, but that's about it. You have a lot more sizes and choices um, in a traveler's notebook, and I think those sizes and choices have been based on kind of notebooks that we find either in um, in the Asian communities, like in Japan, like they they tend to have B six slim. That's where it was created. I did a whole video on um, these. MDs. They were created for people who were commuting in Japan on the train. And so they wanted something that was very sturdy that you could go ahead and write and hold in your hand while you were standing on the train. And that's why I really love these notebooks. I, they're meant to fit in your hand. And that's what I really like. I think that they are just the perfect size for someone who's a writer. So I need a little bit more space than um, like a, a pocket. So this is like more of a pocket or a filled note size. So it's a little bit bigger than that, but not too crazy that you can't just, you know, hold it in your hand and go for a walk. You know what I mean? For me, this is like the perfect ideal size. Now, if you're willing to pay, you can get something like a Vanderspec that allows you to have cross rings. And those ones are um, replaceable rings and people love them. They think they're amazing. That's going to cost you some money. Now, you can certainly look on the buy, sell trade group or sometimes on Instagram or Facebook. Um people will sell used Vanderspecs with the cross rings in there. So sometimes you can find deals that way. But you know, as far as a traveler's notebook is concerned, we have strings in here. This is just elastic string. You, you can buy these on Amazon, these elastic strings for pretty cheap. Also on Etsy, a lot of people um, like, you know, Chic Sparrow as well as Foxy Fix sell their own restringable kits. Uh, traveler's Company has one that you can get on Amazon. Their elastic tends to be a little bit thinner than this, um, but, you know, you can get strings for literally dollars, whereas, you know, getting a Krauss set of rings, I think it will cost you, I don't know, because I've never done it, but it costs some money, especially because you have to get them shipped to you. So those are also things to keep in mind. The reason why I like having a combination of the two is I'm a person who loves notebooks. Uh, this system works for me, but this system also works for me because I'm a lister. I like to make lists and I move in and out of traveler's notebooks so much. I get bored. I get bored with the sizes. So I kind of like a place where I can have the same size all of the time. And I'm just not a fan of pocket right now. And I've never been a fan of A5. That's just like crazy huge. So for me in rings, personal is it. I've never felt like I wanted to move up or down. Whereas in strings, I move all over the place. <laughs> I've gone from the smallest being passport all the way to my first one ever from Foxy Picks back in the day four years ago was an A5 size. So um, there's so many different brands of notebooks that I love, like the Piccadilly notebooks that you can get from Barnes and Noble. They're pretty inexpensive and those fit in the um, wide, which is the same height as a standard. This is a standard Foxy Fix in the Spice Pepper Leather, but it's wider. So I love that size as a writer. It makes me very happy. I have tons of space to work on um, with whatever I need. And a lot of times I can take those Piccadilly notebooks that are wider than this, same height, and cut them down to fit into the standard, which Foxy Fix calls a number six. Chic Sparrow calls a narrow. Um, Traveler's Notebook used to call it Midori size. So that was the name of the, the brand. So this is a Foxy Fix number six and it does have crisscross pockets on the inside. These are what they call like they're like card pockets. 
and it does have this full length back pocket, which you can also get not just in Traveler's Notebooks. Um, I think they started like in the Jillio or something um, of the rings. You can get those back pockets. Again, those extra customizations are going to cost you. Now, this Finsbury does not have that, but the Croco or the Croc leather. I can't remember if it's Croc or Croco. I think it's Croc. But the uh, Croco does have the back pocket in the personal size. So a lot of the times when I'm deciding that I want to have rings and strings, it's because I'm going to be having one as my everyday carry and the other one kind of just sits at my desk. So for right now, this is my planner and this is gonna be more of my journal. Now I might put some planning stuff in here, but it's gonna be planner stuff that I don't need to carry with me every single day. So this for the most part will sit at my desk or sit um, at the nightstand by my bed so that I can write in it before I go to sleep or as soon as I wake up. This planner tends to go with me everywhere. I like how easy it is to flip through and find things. And I like how easy it is to, you know, like take notes and move things around. Whereas this, even though you can move the inserts around, what's inside the inserts are pretty permanent. A lot of times I will take things like, again, from, these are from Peanuts Planner Co. And I could take something like this because it's virtually the same size. Let me pull it out. And I want to put a weekly in here that's like this, but I don't want to use this or this is not my everyday carry. This is going to be, and I will just tip it in. So you can see that they're pretty similar in size. Um, you get more space, honestly, with these inserts because you have your rings in the way here. So it kind of cuts off part of the page, whereas you get the this much more and you get to write where the rings are. And that's why some people really love this. They can't handle like having to remove their pages to write, especially if you're like left-handed or right-handed, it might be an issue either way. Um, when you're trying to write on this side, I have to take it out because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, it's over here. That can also become an issue. So I usually remove them. I just, I just slip them so that I don't have to open my rings because again, you have to worry about that with the Filofax at least because you cannot remove these and replace them. I don't want to open and close them a bunch because they need to last me forever or else I have to just buy a whole new system, right? Um, so I tend to cut these. A lot of people do. So it's easy for me to take them in and remove them and put them in other places and not have to open these all the time. Whereas the strings can take some wear and tear and eventually they will start to fray. Eventually um, they'll lose their elasticity and they'll get really like stretched out and they won't hold anymore. You can just replace them and again, it's only a couple of dollars depending on where you get this from and depending on what color you want. If you want black, you can get it literally for a couple of dollars at um, Hobby Lobby and you can also use a 40% um, coupon. So back to this, um, I was saying you get more space in the, because um, these are pretty much what I would consider a B6 slim if we were talking about uh, traveler's notebooks. You get more space in here because you get to write where the rings are and you get this much more. And so for some people, um, real estate is important and they want to get the most space as they possibly can. Some people aren't willing to write on these lines because they feel like they're too tiny. Um, and it's really nice that you can get bigger, like this is I think seven millimeter and this is five millimeter. So if you have really large handwriting like I do, maybe you prefer to have bigger lines. Whereas a lot of times people are just, you know, making these inserts to fit the most that they possibly can on the page. So they make them smaller. Sometimes you can find inserts that will, instead of giving you a line this small, they'll give you like two lines instead of one and that works out also again both of these are pretty customizable you can put folders in here you can also put folders in here um, both of these can pretty much tip in or add in whatever you want like you can just take like like you can take these these are journaling cards you can put a hole in it a couple holes right there and you can put this in here if you wanted to you can also tip this in with some washi tape um, and have this in here tipped in as well. So you can kind of just put everything that you ever wanted into either one of these things. As long as you can hole punch it or washing it in, it's yours. I think Traveler's Notebooks are really great for journaling, whereas these are not. Because after a while, if you wanted to keep um, all of the used pages that are in here, um, you're going to have to like put them in their own little like uh, ring bound system 
to store them. Whereas these will fit in any shoe box. Um, the pages aren't gonna fall apart when you take them off the strings. Whereas all of these pages are loosey goosey. So I certainly would never want to journal in something like this. If I'm on the go and I have an idea or a little thought, I might write a note in here and then later come home and journal in something like this. Because again, having a bunch of loose pages like this of your journal is just not fun. I mean, maybe you wouldn't slit those ones so that you could go ahead and string them together or do something with them later on so they would all stay in the same place. But I wouldn't recommend journaling in here. And since I'm a writer, I tend to like a notebook for things like that. Whereas for planning, I feel like I'm more of a rings person. So that's also a decision you have to make and also a reason why I have a combination of the two. All right, so that is what I have for you off the top of my head. I gotta go pack and get ready to leave. But if you're someone watching this video and you can think of some other things that might be a reason why someone would want rings over strings or might want a combination of the two, please leave them down below in the comments. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.